guys and welcome back to another Access 72 video. In today's video I'm back doing another interview and I'm here with Niall Berry. How are you lad? Yeah, you're alright man, I'm blessed. Great, I am very good, thank you very much. Thank you for coming yeah. on the channel. Yeah, no problem man. Great, and so am I right in saying you're 23, you're a featherweight and you're 3-0? Yeah, yes man. Great, okay, if you, if you are new around here and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so like the video if you do need like the video and let's get straight into it. So I'm going to start with a question which I normally like to start off with, and that is, why did you get into boxing? Uh, well, I've been doing stuff just like, I've been doing stuff since I was like 12, like, I think the first thing I've ever done was kickboxing, and then uh, I've done a bit of taekwondo, a bit of MMA, and then I didn't start boxing until I was 16, but I, I don't know, just like, I've always enjoyed fighting really i guess mm -hmm. that, that's that's pretty much it. i just i just always enjoyed fighting i like the way that you've you've kind of tried everything until you did eventually go to yeah. boxing yeah boxing is definitely the one for me i mean if if i was to pick something other than boxing probably i enjoyed kickboxing mm -hmm. other than boxing the most but you that's not really anywhere near as big as boxing is it so yeah, yeah, I get you. yeah yeah i get you i get you so did you then go down the amateur route? And if you did, do you remember what happened in your first amateur fight? Uh, yeah, I went down the amateur route. Uh, I won by a unanimous decision. It was a shutout. To be fair, blasted him out. But it was a, uh, it was. Now I remember. It was a good. It was a good fight. It was a good fight. I remember. I went back to my corner in the first round, and I was like, "Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm knackered." But still pushed through. Uh, won every round, and yeah, now I've had a. 25 amateur fights in total uh 121 and mo most of them were stoppages well half of them i'd say half of them were stoppages at least mm -hmm. yeah that's a good record for the amateurs especially yeah. and so did you ever win any anything big in the amateurs or what was your biggest achievement i've won the biggest thing i won was the national developments so the under 20 nationals uh on the east midlands box cup twice uh, I won the Midlands, but development again. Uh, and Haringey, I won the Haringey Box Cup as well. Mm -hmm. Great. I, think that's, yeah, I think that's it. I mean, you're saying that's it for 25 something fights. That's very impressive. Yeah, I, I wanted to do the elites though, like the proper nationals, but uh, uh, COVID hit when I was about to do them, so I just went over pro. Yeah, so that, that's kind of a similar story to a lot of people, the fact of just COVID, because it cut, it cut off all the yeah. amateur fights, you just decided to go pro. Yeah, I mean, with me, I've always wanted to go pro. Like, I don't really, I never really cared about Team GB or Olympics or stuff or common, but I don't really care about that. I just, I just wanted to go pro, but I wanted to get a decent amount of experience. So I was just going to do the elites, then turn pro. But uh, yeah, so I won't wait. I didn't want to wait. So yeah. Fair enough. And so you've now yeah. gotten the free and oh, and you've done well, very well in the sport so far. And I was wondering which fight would you say you've performed your best in? Uh, I'd say my debut, to be honest. I just felt that's probably because I made, I was fighting at featherweight. Like I felt light. I felt good. I felt my shots felt strong. Um, I felt good in all my fights anyway, but mm -hmm. because the last two I've had to... I mean, the second one I fought at, like, lightweight. Because, oh, right. yeah, and then the last one I fought at super featherweight. Uh, that was a six-rounder. And I felt good. I felt good still, but I'd say... my I, I think, personally, my best performance was my debut, which was a stoppage in the second round. I just, I just felt amazing, and the experience was amazing as well. Mm -hmm. Great, and yeah. so... I suppose if you've just only fought one fight in featherweight, you'll be wanting to maybe go back down to featherweight. Is that what you're yeah, trying to do for the next fight? Yeah, yeah, that's that's the plan. We want to. We just can't. It, well, can't really find anyone who wanted to fight at featherweight. Mm -hmm. So, but so I'm fighting at super featherweight for my next one as well. Oh, right. But after that, we're looking to hopefully challenge for the featherweight midlands title. So yeah, eventually. So we'll go back down to featherweight after this one. Great, okay, and so yeah. you spoke a little bit about how your power felt good in the featherweight, and I was wondering if that if that was your best attribute or if you'd say something else's. Uh, power, strength, same type of thing, I'd say. Def, def, definitely my strength. Like, when I'm uh, in the clinch, I can just 
move people about as I please, if I'm honest. Uh, I'd definitely say my, what I call it, man strength from 23. Yeah, I guess you can say man strength. Mm-hmm. I, I just, I just feel, I just feel like I can move people about as I please. When I'm, when we're in close range, I can get people in the corner. My shots, I've got, I've got decent power. In my opinion, I think I think I'm, I'm very strong. I feel a- anyone's gonna have a handful fighting me. Put it that way is what I would say. Yeah, maybe that's why the people don't want to be fighting you at featherweight. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, you spoke a little bit about how you've got this next fight, and am I right in saying it's for September twenty fourth? Yeah. Great. And so, have you kind of gone into a camp for that yet? Uh, yeah, I'd say past three weeks now mm-hmm. i said the past three weeks been training been training hard i've been getting some good good sparring in been doing some good rounds i've been non-stop as as my nickname is mm-hmm. non-stop I've literally been non-stop man great and so you've got this fight coming up not too far away now and i'm sure you're trying to sell tickets to some of your fans and i was wondering why should people come and watch you what makes you different I guarantee you, I'm the, I'll be the most entertaining fight on that card. There's that yeah. for starters. I mean, that's literally it's non-stop action. Like I can, I I know for a fact that my fights are entertaining, and that's that's what I want to do. I want to go out there and entertain. I know, like I know, uh, that things are tough at the minute with money and like I'll everything's going on so for people to pay their money to come and watch me like i want to at least make sure to get you know a night worth paying their, all that money for so i'm 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 the most entertaining fighter i'm a fighter on the card i reckon or any card if i'm honest yeah i, I respect yeah. the confidence i like it man yeah, yeah, yeah. great and so you've got you've been very active am i right in saying you've had all your fights so far this year yeah, yeah. And are you possibly trying to come out again before the end of the year? Yeah, I'd s- maybe maybe one more before the end of the year. Um, I don't want to say too much, but uh, and because the, there's a Sky Show coming to Birmingham end of October. Yes. So as long as everything goes all right with this fight, we're gonna see if I can get out on it. If not, then I think uh that will be it for the year. We'll, we'll have to see, but uh, if I do have another fight after this one, I think it'll just be one. Mm-hmm. Fair, and I yeah. mean, I'd love you to fight on that car. Personally, I'm trying to really I'm trying to push to go to that car and see it live. So if you are, yeah. on it, that would be sick. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, I'd I'd love to get on there. I'm I'm, ho- I'm hoping I can. If we can't, then I'm sure there's there's loads of other opportunities. But I would really love to get on that car. Mm-hmm. great and so you're just at the start of your career at the moment and i was interested in thinking how far can you can how far can you go what do you believe in yourself i'd say all the way at least british like that's that's minimum for me but if if you don't believe that you can go all the way then i wouldn't say i don't see the point because you might just like fighting so i wouldn't say there's no point in you being in the sport but like you know, I'm young and I, because obviously I've got to work and train at the same time. Like I can't keep doing this. Like mm-hmm. I just want to make, I just want to make it. Like I want to secure my future and I love fighting mm-hmm. and I just want to be. I want my name to be up there. So I believe I, can, I believe that I can go all the way. Don't know when, but I know it can happen. I at least want to win the British title as as a minimum. But yeah, I, I believe I can go all the way. Great, and so you spoke about how you can believe we can go all the way, and I was wondering if you could kind of fight like an active dream opponent at the at the moment. Who would you want it to be? At featherweight. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know what? Uh, oh, what's that guy's name from Nottingham? Oh, Lee Wood. Is it Lee? Wood? Does he fight at featherweight or super featherweight? It is sure. featherweight, isn't it? I don't know. I can't remember. It might be su- it might be super. What weight does Joe Joe wasn't Josh Warrington fight at? Oh. Yeah. You're asking me a tough question there. Because they're in the same weight class. I'm mm. sure they fight in featherweight. Yeah. I'd love to fight uh one of them two just because uh well we've got similarities just in close, just non stop fighting and that's personally where I think I shine. 
Mm-hmm. If if I'm fighting a, a boxer, I'll I'll still hunt them down and get the get the stoppage or dominate all the rounds. But obviously, I would prefer to fight someone who's going to stand in the pocket with me, and they'll they'll that will definitely be a shutout. But it would be entertaining. Like I love fighting. I'm not going to say I love getting punched in the mm-hmm. face, but. You know, when you just get that buzz, yeah. like, oh, I just, I just love that feeling. So I'd say uh, either Josh Warrington or Lee Wood, one of them two. They would both be very great fights. And, um, yeah. I mean, you never know, it might happen. And so, yeah, you never know. Yeah, you never know. And so you spoke a lot about how committed you are to boxing and the fact that you have to work as well. But I was wondering if you get up to anything in your spare time otherwise. <sighs> Not really. <laughs> I'm, I literally, I'm, I'm either working or training twenty four seven. That's that's it, really. Uh, I mean, what do I do in my spare? Nothing. Sleep. I've got time. Yeah, that's bad. I, I, I respect the commitment to the sport that you've got. Yeah. No, I like. Yeah, that. I ain't got much time. I ain't got much time to be honest. I'm, I'm literally either just working or training. That's it, really. Fair enough. And so. Yeah. I'll leave with this final question, which I always like to ask. You've got a little bit of a platform here. Would you like to shout anything out? Uh, I'd like to say thank you to my sponsors, uh, CPL Groundworks, A&D Block Paving, uh, Egyptian Collections, uh, TJ Building Services. Go follow them on TikTok, TT Dog. Uh, and thank you to all my fans as well family, friends, and uh, thank you to you as well for the interview. No, it's, it's been a pleasure, mate. You seem like a, a great guy to interview, and um, maybe when you are fighting for these British belts, we can come back and do a return interview. Yeah, of course, man, of course, man. And I'll still always be how I am as well. I like, I like to be confident, but I also, I always say stay humble. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, if, 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 if success comes, I don't ever want to, turn big headed or anything I'd, I'd with me i'd hate to think i'd hate to come across like cocky or big headed i would I, that's not how i'd like to come across stay humble that's what i always say what i always say and what i, what I want to come across as humble but yeah yeah thank you man thank you no it's, it's been a pleasure and it's a good message that you're spreading to the younger generation yeah Great. And so if you are new around here and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you do indeed like the video and thanks for watching.